Okay, welcome back, boys and girls, to the wonderful world of flatheads. Tonight, I will be changing the oil in this old beast. She has 60 weight oil in it. And I want to change it out to 50 weight. Let me set you up here. Should be good. Yeah, she has 60 weight oil in it because when I rebuilt the motor this past summer, I needed 60 weight. I'm not even finished breaking it in. I only have 41 miles on the speedometer when I broke my ankle and ruptured my Achilles. So this Friday is going to be 61 degrees, so I want to try kickstarting it with my left leg or maybe even with my bad leg ride it up and down the road in the neighborhood to dial in the link of carburetor while she's running so made a little handy dandy cardboard tin foil lined oil director i don't feel like cleaning the pipes and shit Let's see if we can get this heavy mud out of here Copper crush gasket on there. We all have. Now this cardboard ain't going. Let me take it out. You watch. And I want to check it out. See if there's any. It's going. It should be a little bit of metal from the tightness, tight tolerances of the pistons and new uh, sleeves in the jugs. Oh, please, hope that didn't go down the back. But it should be all right. Gonna need to get to a flashlight, check it out. But I don't see a lot of uh, horsepower glitter. It's a good sign. It's going to be boring. Oh, I got a flashlight in my pocket. Yeah, there's some glitter. But I would assume to expect that from the 41 miles of riding tight tolerances. Typically, on the break-in, you're supposed to change the oil at, I think, 100 miles or 50. And then, like, the 500-mile recommendation. I think there's a 250 interval. I don't know. But this, changing this is only because of the temperature out. Friday's going to be 61 degrees. I want to try riding her a little bit if I get lucky. Yummy. This looks like a stripper's eyeshadow. All glittery. Can hold it. Mm. 
What can I do? Not too well thought out, like most of my plans out here. Okay, I got something. I got something, there we go. All right, let that go for a while. So that's the plan. I'm gonna try to ride it Friday. That is in two days from now. I'm gonna to have to uh, put my iron head build on pause. It's almost done. I'm gonna to have to put that on pause. My brother's bringing over his Roger Borget chopper, one of the 90s choppers that suck. Um, he has a blown head gasket and a rear cylinder, so I'm gonna do a top end job on that bike. He wants to get it up and running. So I think he's trading it for some car or something, I don't know, so. Can't keep up with him, but that's what we're gonna be doing here next few days getting the Roger Borgat chopper so I'll make a lot of videos on that piece of junk if you guys are into that all right talk to you later I mean I don't think you really want to see me dump oil in there that's kind of boring but it's going to put 50 weight in 60 weight is good for 70 degrees and above and 50 weight is for 70 and below. So it's going to be 61, like I said. Put them in there. All right. Talk to you guys later. I'll give it one more walk around. that new crash bar I don't like how the powder coat color is off a tad from the powder coat color of the frame I could always have it repowder coated but what are you gonna do but that's like stuff only I see that bothers me it wouldn't bother anybody else in the world and they wouldn't even notice it There's the beehive tail light I put on this winter. It had a tombstone on here, which was wrong for this 1940 era. I think they rode the, ran the beehive from like 36 to 40, 45, I think in that area. So in any event, got the, the tombstone off, put the beehive on. I had to put my own tool bag on here because I had to carry tools around them. You have to carry tools around with you to ride a flathead. I mean, literally just like your headlight bulb just goes out for no reason. You gotta change that on the side of the road. I got enough tools in there to literally take this whole bike apart on the side of the road. They're not that hard. Can't wait to get the fender done. I don't have to wait. Then the pogo seat. Then the rear crash bar. If it would fit, I don't know, with the up sweeps on there, that'll work. But all right. This time I mean it for real. I'll talk to you later.